Hi, welcome back to Physics Teacher. This is a question on the Avogadro contest, which is the grade 11 chemistry contest from Waterloo University. And it says a student prepared the following graph to illustrate one aspect of ideal gas behavior. However, he forgot to label the axes. Which of the following graphs could it be? Give it a try and I'll be right back with the answer. All right, so this is looking at ideal gas behavior. So your ideal gas law, PV equals nRT, that's an equation where P is pressure, V is volume, N is the number of moles, T is temperature, And R is a proportionality constant. Now, because it's a proportionality constant, we can rewrite this as a proportionality instead of an equation. We can write PV is proportional to NT. And when you draw a graph, you have your y-axis and your x-axis. On your x-axis, you're going to have your independent variable. So independent and on your y-axis, you're going to have your dependent variable. So this is like your cause, and this is your effect. Now your title would be y versus x. So for part A, it says P versus T. So it's talking about pressure versus temperature. So as temperature changes what happens to pressure and n and v are held constant if n and v are held constant we just have pressure proportional to temperature so as temperature increased pressure would be increased because these are uh, directly proportional to each other so your graph would look something like this not the one we're looking for so it's not a temperature versus the number of moles again Right? Temperature versus the number of moles. If we were to rearrange this proportionality, we would get temperature inversely proportional to the number of moles. So in this case, as the number of moles increase, temperature is going to decrease. And so we get an inverse relationship, something that would look like this. So not B. Okay, next is PV versus T. Okay, in this case, N is held constant. So we have PV proportional to temperature Okay, when N is being held constant. So in this case, as temperature increases, so does this combination of pressure and volume. It could be one, it could be the other, or a combination of both. I don't know what the experiment is. But in this case, Again, we have a linear relationship. So we're back to this example over here, not C. All right, next is P versus V. So here's P versus V. If N and T are held constant, well, then P is inversely proportional to V, meaning as volume increases, pressure decreases. So we have this example here again, not this one. So it's not D. Well, by process of elimination, we can go with E, but let's look at Y. All right, so we have PV over T versus P itself. So if I rearrange this, we have PV over T is proportional to N. Okay, but this question is saying that as pressure changes, what's happening to PV over T? Well, PV over T is proportional to N, and this says N is held constant. So if all of this is being held constant, as pressure increases, well, you could have some of these changing, of course. Obviously, this P is increasing, but these could be changing as well. Together, they're being kept constant. So our graph then, as pressure increases, this PV over T, or N, 
is remaining constant. That's the one we're looking for.